It's the 10th of October and I'm just sitting here <laughs> vegging in the morning doing some knitting and I decided to knit another well I haven't already finished the first one this is the Exordium uh, Shawl by Rebecca Pico and I decided to use some of these beautiful yarns that I've got so this one is a Noro silk and the other one is a yarn that I um, got at the Wyong Yarn Festival a year ago and I thought I would use some of my, you know, special, I don't have very many specials, but ones that mean, you know, softness and gorgeous colours. I didn't realise that this green would knit up so beautifully. Very happy with it. Anyway, this is a pattern. It's not a difficult pattern, but it's not boring either. It's so lovely when all the stitches come together like that. It's just amazing how some people can think up combinations of yarn overs and two togethers you know to make such a lovely lattice so this is my second well if <laughs> this is my one and a half um knitting of this pattern i think i will keep continue on with it until it was hard for me to go to bed last night because i was just so Oh, I just found it very hard to put down the knitting when it was coming out so lovely. But I did. And now I'm completing this section of lattice this morning. Everyone is out. It's just me at home and Kitty. And here is Kitty. Hi, Kitty. Hi, sweet thing. Yeah, she's asleep next to me. She likes to be close when nobody's at home and there's just one person. So she's um, snuggled up there. It is a nice, perfect day today. I just wish my foot was a bit um, better, but it's getting there. And, yeah, hope to walk soon outside. I do hope to get on with some more quilting later too, before midday, I'd say. Just so the light is good and I can do some hand stitching here in a nice light. So, yeah. Thank you for joining me today. Um, every day, it's like so different video journaling every day to compiling a whole week of what I've been up to and what I like to look at. So we're up to the 10th of October, coming up to another special weekend for us, yeah? For Yom Kippur. And then next week it is Sukkot, and I love Sukkot because... We get to go and visit Judith, sit in her beautiful sukkah out on the patio and just relax and enjoy time with people we love and family. And the weather is perfect at this time of the year if it doesn't rain. <laughs> Sometimes it finds it need to rain, but yeah. So today, I will keep on knitting this. Oh, I have made progress with my sock too, my second sock. Just get it. My second sock. So, I have a few rows to go to the toe, and that'll be the second one. And I just love the colours in this one too.
and a really nice pattern on the library socks. Oh yeah. So I also hope to have this finished either today or tomorrow, hopefully tonight because I can knit late at night and I can't really quilt late at night. So hopefully I'll get the second sock finished and that will be excellent. Beautiful wool from Morrison Sons in Sydney. And yeah, so that's me for this morning. I'm just sitting here with my foot on the footstool, <laughs> knitting. So glad to see you. I just tried this scarf, the scarf on that I'm making. I love the colours. I love them. And I just want to make sure that it um, suits my colouring, really. But it's nearly the same colour as my cardigan that I love. And I think, um, you know, if you love something, you can wear it. I just love it. And look at the detail. Uh, so, yeah. I am going to keep going because I love it and it's very addictive and hopefully I'll have it finished by next week. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I just can't get over how beautiful it is. How beautiful the yarns are really. The Noro silk and oh. So yeah. This is how it looks as to how much I've done so far. So I think I've got a third of the way there. The lace work is just, it's very simple but so effective. Love the colours. Love this beautiful skein of yarn. It's just lovely. I like the rusty sort of weathering <laughs> the weathering thing that's going on in the colors this is lovely so that's me signing off for today friends short but sweet and i'll see you tomorrow hopefully i'm going out tomorrow so i should have a bit more content hopefully and then it'll be the weekend Usual colour in the sky this morning. It's 11th of October. And it's 6.20, 8am. It's early. Sun's just coming up. There's the ocean. There's the sun. My windows need cleaning. <laughs> That's the sun. It's 7.30, 11th of October. I finally got up. Yesterday's um, video content was not good, so I took it down and hope to have more today. My knitting did progress, though. I didn't go out. So this is how far my shawl has gone. Oh, I really love it. It's very addictive. The wool is so beautiful to knit with. And yeah, I think I'll go over and see Judith today. So some outside footage. Good morning, crafting friends. It's Friday the 11th of October. And it looks like it's a lovely day, not too hot, not too cold, but perfect. I am up, it's about 6.30 a.m. And just couldn't wait to start knitting again on this beautiful exordium shawl that I'm making. I think it's the uh, texture of the wool that I'm using that makes it so 
Oh, so, so great to knit. And the colours are just perfect too. And I love these rustic colours. Yeah, hoping to do a bit more to this today, but I'm going out shortly to see my friend and hopefully take some footage. I live near an old-fashioned cricket ground that they've recently remodeled, done up the cricket um, house into a big sort of stadium where a lot of people can sit in a cafe. And... I love the old cricket grounds. It reminds me of an English village. And, yeah, a lot of people now use the the grounds, which is great, especially on the weekends and we hear fireworks at night. It's so nice to hear fireworks again, but I don't go out much at night. <laughs> so this is my crafting and... I probably will do some more of this knitting and then see what happens. Thank you for joining me today. Um, thanks for coming back to visit. I really do appreciate everyone who comes to visit me and leaves comments. It's uh, nice to have a chat, talk about crafting, things that we think about. So... I will be off soon. I have two acquisitions today. This is a free pattern, Jabo, and it is a beautiful knitting pattern. And it is unisex. I'll show you uh, how it actually looks. It's got a really nice stitch design. It is top down but I'm going to convert it to bottom up because I like bottom up it's a really nice jumper yeah and it's a free pattern and my other acquisition that came today I did order it you have to pre-order these ones and the dyer at Skane in Coffs Harbour um, dyes them and this beautiful one is Merino and Silk Sport. It feels so lovely. And there's 320, 332 metres in it, so it will make a lovely shawl. So yeah, that came today. Beautiful. This is the oval opposite near where I live. It's lovely. There's a nice park up there. And here is the map. So that's a relatively new grandstand. It has a nice cafe and they keep the oval very nice because they play football and cricket there. In summer this has all just been re redone it's a lovely playground also for the children up there it's lovely it's now lunchtime and we are heading down to the beach there's a little sailing boat out there it's a lovely day for sailing the ocean has that grey blue tinge today. You can tell summer's coming. Summer clouds.
quite a few people at the beach. It is the school holidays here, so good weather for swimming. I think it must be about 28 degrees C. <laughs> you think it's more? What does it say? 27. It's 27, good guess by me. We'll have a closer look. It's sort of um, a haze, so that means there's weather coming, I think. I'm not sure whether you can see the salty haze. It's, it's like a very fine misty cloud, but not. And you can smell the ozone in the air. Oh, there's a whale! A couple! Wow! Just see the tail flapping. Wow! How lucky is that? What sort of whales are they? Oh, I don't know. It could be uh, blue whales, pilot whales. Yeah, they're coming. Are they going north or south? I think they're going south yeah. now because it gets too warm in the tropics for them. It's a long journey for an animal, See isn't it? There. Look, it's out there. Oh, wow. Off the beach. I hope it doesn't get tangled in the, in the net. Can you see it out there? Wow. Oh, the spout. Wow. It's so lovely to see them. Tide will be coming in. Wow, I just saw its tail. Wow. Oh, wow. That is so, let's see it jumping out of the water. Wow. That has made my day. It will be on the news this afternoon. are coming over. We're going to have some rain on the weekend, maybe. Ooh. What's happening here?
die. John is wanting to buy some coleslaw for the weekend. We are now on our way home. The Bondi Beach uh, road is getting a facelift. Still has that sort of Art Deco vibe, but modern Art Deco vibe. You can tell. I imagine all places near the ocean need a refurb every 50 years or so. Some of them, they're completely guttering and just leaving the facade. Some. It's very interesting, isn't it? How landscape changes. For example, the post office is now a luxury apartments and you know we need post office post offices <laughs> and banks some people just don't like doing online banking all the time but that's how it is there's a nice um, bookshop here that sells secondhand books Gertrude and Alice and it's a really nice bookshop, secondhand and coffee shop. It's been there for years. This is the main street off the beach. And the den's just here and then there's more apartments. That's me signing off for this week friends. See you next week. Thanks for joining me and wasn't the whale watching so exciting? I just can't believe that they're sailing by and so lucky to see them. Yeah, so I'll see you soon. Bye friends. <laughs>